Hello YouTube, Skyward Entertainment here. I am back with another video and today I'll be showing you guys how you can replace or change the sounds in Minecraft Java Edition. So here you can see I've got some cows over there and I have changed their hurt sound to be the old Minecraft Steve uh, just damage sound. So here you can see if I hit him, you can hear that that sound gets played instead of the normal sound. And I'll be showing you guys how you can do that in today's video. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so this will be a pretty hard tutorial, but I'll still try my best to explain it. The first thing that you want to do is download the file in the description down below. It will be a Mediafire link. Once it is downloaded, you should just see a uh, template folder. And inside of the template folder, it will look like this. And the second thing that you want to do is... Uh, download or have the file that you want to replace on hand. So in my case, I have the old hurtsound.mp3. Hey. That's what it sounds like. Okay, so once you have those two things, you need to first of all convert your file into your uh, sound file into a .ogg format because that is the only uh, sound format that Minecraft can understand. So what you want to do is simply go into the description down below and click on the converter link. Uh, it will open a website like this. So it will open this website here. What you wanna do is simply drag and drop the uh, sound that you wanna convert to here and click on the big red convert button. It'll take a while to convert depending on how long the sound is obviously, but once it is done, you just wanna click on download. Now I'm going to uh, just simply drag it onto my desktop for easier access. So here, once you have that done, you can delete the old mp3 sound if you want. Okay guys, so once you have that file converted and it's on your desktop or in a place that you can access easily, you want to first of all go into Minecraft's files and uh, change or find the location of the sound that you want to replace. Now I'll try my best to explain this once again because it is pretty hard. What, what you want to do is click on the window key and then the R key, type in percent app data percent, then click on OK. Go to dot Minecraft at the top, then click on assets, indexes, and then click on the latest version of Minecraft. So in my case it is 1.16. It should open the WordPad uh, file, but if it doesn't, you need to right click it, click on open with, and then click on WordPad. If you do not see WordPad, then you need to choose another app over here. Click on more apps and look for WordPad. In my case, it is over here, and then click on OK. So once you are in this file here, I will try my best to explain what it is. Basically, it just uh, tells Minecraft where to look for all the files that it needs. So in our case, the only reason we need this is to uh, look for the location and name of the sound that you want to replace. So in my case, I will want to replace the cow hurt sound. So what you want to do is click on the find button up here and search for what you need. Now, there's no reason to actually know uh, what the name of the file is, so just try your best, go through some trial and error, but I'm just gonna search for cow, and it will give me all the results for cow. Now, uh, cow slash milk is not what I need because that's not the hurt sound, that's the milking sound. Uh, just click on find next until you find what you need. So there it is, cow slash hurt 1.ogg. Now obviously I know that that's the hurt sound because it says hurt, obviously. And you might see that there are multiple files in here with the same name, so hurt 1, hurt 2, hurt 3. But let's not worry about that for now. What you need is this directory here. So Minecraft slash mob. I mean, Minecraft slash sounds slash mob slash cow slash hurt dot one, hurt one dot OGG. Now, um, this directory is in the template folder that you downloaded. 
or at least it should be. So what you want to do is go ahead and open this template folder here. It will look like this, then click on Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, and then click on, I mean, and then look for the uh, directory that the uh, WordPad file calls for. So in my case, it is mob. So after uh, Minecraft, it goes sounds, and then mob. Uh, I'm going to click on mob. If you don't see the next directory that it calls for after it sounds, then simply make it. I know that one of those directories is the ambidiance. I don't know how to spell it, but basically just make the folder and then go inside of it. Now what you want to do is make another folder with the same name that it calls for. So in my case, that will be uh, cow. And then go inside of that and uh, you'll need to paste the converted uh, sound file into this uh, directory here. So I'm um, going to open up the file browser go into my desktop folder and find the .ogg sound file. Uh, you can simply drag and drop it into the uh, proper directory within the template uh, folder. In my case, I'll just copy it and then you'll need to uh, name it to exactly what it calls for down here. So in our case, that will be hurt one uh, There it is. So rename it by pressing F2 or right clicking and renaming and then uh, type in exactly hurt1.ogg. Now uh, make sure that the uppercase and lowercase letters are all exactly the same too. So if you make one of these uh, letters uh, uppercase but it calls for a lowercase letter then it will not work. And uh, there you go. Now you're done. You can do the same thing for all the other sounds, basically. So in my case, I am going to replace the hurt 2 and hurt 3 sounds too. So I'm just going to simply copy this and then paste it twice. Rename them to hurt 2 and hurt 3. Now we have changed the sound uh, file for how hurts one hurt two and hurt three and now you're done once you have finished replacing all the uh, sound files in the proper directories what you want to do is simply uh, you can close out of wordpad and go into um, just go into the directory that says templates where you can like copy the template folder and now what you want to do is paste this template folder into uh, Minecraft's directory like a texture pack. So that's pretty hard to explain, but basically this uh, sound changing file is actually a texture pack for Minecraft. Like Minecraft sees it as a texture pack. So basically what you want to do is click on the window key and then the R key again. Type in percent app data percent, click on OK. Go to dot Minecraft and then go, uh, uh, go down till you find resource packs and simply drag and drop templates into resource packs. And if everything works properly, you should see um, the template uh, texture pack within the Minecraft resource packs uh, menu. So once again, that is really hard to explain, but I'm trying my best, so sorry. Um, inside of templates, you can change the, uh, first of all, you can change the name template to whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to leave it like template for now. Uh, you can change the pack.png file to whatever you want. And inside of pack.mc meta, uh, you can change the description over here to whatever you want to. But obviously none of that is necessary because it should just work like this. Uh, if you can't open pack.mc meta, then you'll need to click on open with, I mean right click, open with, click more apps and then click on notepad. Okay, so uh, what you want to do now is simply go ahead and open up Minecraft and I'll see you there once it loads.
Okay, so if you managed to understand what I was saying this entire time, you should be able to see the resource pack within uh, the resource packs folder in Minecraft. So I'm going to scroll down until I find it. Oh, well, I mean, it's already applied, but yeah, there it is. So once you find it, you just need to click on the arrow button here, then click, uh, it'll, it'll appear over here, and then click on done. Uh, now, if you go ahead and load into a world and uh, activate the sound that you changed, so in my case, uh, it gets activated by uh, punching a cow. And there you go, you can see that the sound has been applied. Now, this uh, tutorial was really hard to understand, I'm sorry about that, but I tried my best. So. If you don't understand something, then comment it down in the description, I mean comment it down in the comment section below, and I will try my best to help you out. I also have a Discord channel in the description down below if you want uh, faster replies or just better help from me. So yeah, you can go into the description and join the server down there. But other than that, if everything worked for you, then uh, just leave a like and subscribe to my channel, I'll really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'm out.